Okay, let's talk about function pointers in C. So when we have a function in our program, we usually take in an input and do some operation on it. But here, the problem is that we can't really change what we do with this function. The functionality of this method is totally defined by what we have in this part of the code. Um, there's one thing we can do uh, that will make this more interesting. So instead of just having the fixed set of operations, we can just pass in a subroutine and in this template of code we have, this part of the operation is fixed, and we can just call the subroutine to do something else. So now, what this function does is um, depending on the subroutine that we pass in. So this makes um, the, the ability of the function more dynamic. So this is where function pointers comes in, and the basic idea of how it works is like this. So when we have a function in our program, it's basically living on the memory, like this. So we have a block of memory that contains all the instructions for the machine here. And what we're doing here is basically we have a variable, and that's going to be a pointer to the first line of that operation. So this is where the name function pointer comes in. So um, if we have this pointer, then we can just pass it around like just any other variables. Um, so when we are calling a method, we can just pass in fp, the function pointer, and inside the method, we can call this function by dereferencing this pointer and passing in some parameters that it's supposed to take. Okay, here are some examples where we might uh, want to use it. Um, so consider this case. We have an array of integers, and we want to sort this array. Here, at the end, we probably want to do something like we want to compare 2 and 3, and since 3 is bigger than 2, we want to switch these two elements, right? And it's this, we can say the same thing for this one as well. So we have an array of characters, and here, if we want to sort this array, we need to compare C and B, and since B comes before C, we want to switch, switch these two elements. So the, um, the basic pattern here is the same. Uh, we're trying to compare two um, elements, and depending on which one comes fir first, uh, we need to like switch those elements to, to sort the array. Um, so no matter what, what kind of object we have in the array, if we have this function that compares two elements and um, can tell us like which one comes first, then we can sort basically any kind of array, like if it's something like this. So in this case, we will pass in a function pointer that points to a function that compares two elements. Then our uh, method that sorts the array will not depend on what type of the object we have. And here's a more concrete example about function pointers. Um, so here what we are basically doing is we take in an array of integers and we're calling the function pointer that we passed in on each element in the array with this auxiliary data here that we also pass in as the third parameter. Um, so if we have something like this, then we can do something very interesting. Let's say we have two methods, uh, pow and add. Pow just takes in two uh, numbers, n and p, and returns n to the power of p. And add just simply adds these two numbers and return the sum. Um, so here in the main method, we have an array, one, two, three. And we call this method passing in the function pointer. So this pow is actually a pointer to the method declaration of that one. So after calling this method, then what happens is we have an array of one, two, three. And on, on each element, we call this method pow with the auxiliary data of two. So that makes it two, one, four, and nine. And down here, when we call this method with add, again, we're passing in the function pointer to this method, and we're simply adding four here to each element. So this becomes five, eight, and 13. So when we use function pointers at the right place, uh, we can make our program much more powerful.